Now in our study of the Sufi thoughts, we come now to the fourth Sufi thought. And that is this, there is one religion, the unswerving progress in the right direction toward the ideal, which fulfills the life's purpose of every soul. So on the surface of things, there are many religions, there are different religious communities and traditions and methods of prayer, various rituals. And in fact, even within each single religion, there is a diversity of ways. You might even say that each person has their own religion because each one conceives of divinity in, an, in a unique manner. Each one is placed differently. And so when we look toward the infinite, we each see according to our angle of vision. And yet all of these many religions are really one religion in the sense that we're all gazing toward the inconceivable. We're all imagining the unimaginable. We're all drawn to something mysterious and it's veiled and unveiled step by step in our life. Something is shown, but obscurity remains. And so we journey onward. And what is religion? Religion is the sense of that which is pulling us, the sense of that which is beyond the beyond, apparent and yet never fully obtainable, never able to be possessed and to be defined, always on the horizon, always glimmering beyond reach, the ideal. And of course, the further that we advance in life, the closer we reach toward the ideal, the further the ideal recedes to, re to, to reveal further dimensions, further vistas of bounty and possibility and meaning. So the ideal evolves, deepens, expands as we go through life. And what is religion? Turning toward the ideal. Whenever we are taking a step closer, whenever we feel that whatever we are doing, whatever we're thinking, whatever we're saying, it's moving us in the direction of the ideal, of the infinite beauty. That's religion. And when we, deep down in our conscience, when we sense that what we are doing, what we're saying, what we're thinking is leading us away, is diminishing the clarity of the ideal, is, is obscuring the path that leads onward that is contrary, that takes us away from our dharma. Dharma is always that which leads to a clearer, stronger feeling of purposefulness, that for which one has been born. And so Sheikh Saadi says, soul is born for a certain purpose, and the light of that purpose is kindled in the soul. So how does one know one is on the path of religion? One knows it because one feels the light of one's soul kindled. One feels that one's soul's purpose is revealing itself, is coming to life. That one's life is for a meaning. It isn't arbitrary. One has been brought here, has been created, has been lit up by the divine creativity. And one feels that and feels the, the pull, the traction of the one who is kindling one's being. That's religion. And so there are many forms of religion, many belief systems, many rituals, but the essence of it is this direct experience of being pulled toward God through the theophany of the ideal shining bright in one's life.